Well, good morning, people. This is uh, Tony Reno from Two Well for Fun, coming at you from Lancaster, California. On my way to the tax assessor's office because uh, there's an issue with my property taxes, our property tax, that has increased my frustration tenfold. But, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm gonna try to stay away from that and maybe try and talk about other issues that uh, may piss you off as far as motorcyclists are concerned. <laughs> um, I guess we can start with uh, camera angles <laughs> because I don't know if this camera angle is right or not. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the uh, this tax uh, situation has me a little flustered, but again, I'm going to try to get away from that and uh, focus on this particular topic, which still has to do with frustration, just not with taxes. So what are, what are some of the things that uh, may tick you off as a motorcyclist as you're getting ready for a ride? Or I should say, for me... The first thing is camera angles, because, uh, you know, after all, you get ready to go on a ride, you hop on the bike, put your camera on, and head out, right? Do all this recording, and you get back home and find out your camera angle sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm not bringing you multiple angles today because I only have my helmet cam. Well, I have the uh, Cena 50C on the side of the helmet, but... I'm not really doing any recording with that, so uh, that's just for audio and music in my ears, so I can so it can uh, so I, it can calm the savage beast, which is I. So <laughs> listen to a little smooth jazz, if you will, before I deal with the tax people. What's something else? Uh, oh, here's a here's a good one. Here's a real good one, I guess from other motorcyclists and non-riders alike. Hey dude, nice bike. When are you going to wash it? <laughs> when am I going to wash it? How about when I feel like it? Or how about after I get ready for my next ride, maybe? It's my bike. I will wash it when I get ready. <laughs> and half the time, you guys don't see the clean bike because you're, you're seeing this angle right here from the camera and you're not really looking at the bike and uh, yeah when you're gonna watch your bike whenever I get ready I would say leaving my keys out or you know putting putting everything on you know my helmet all my motorcycle gear get on the bike and remember that I and then remember that you forgot to get your keys out of your pocket <laughs> or you may have left your keys in the house <laughs> I don't really have that problem with keys because this is a uh, auto start um, however I could accidentally leave the key fob somewhere and that would send my frustrations uh, skyrocketing <laughs> unfortunately I didn't have to deal with that today but uh, there's always a possibility you know what I mean and what else can I think of? I mean, you know, normally this stuff just comes on. Oh, oh, I got one. You get ready for a ride and you hit the garage door opener <laughs> and your significant other peeks her head out, out of the door. Hey, are you going for a ride? And you reply, yeah. Oh, I got something for you to do first. Ah, damn it. <laughs> you couldn't do this yesterday? Or more importantly, how come you can't do it yourself? <laughs> yes, pet peeves are things that send my frustrations up before a ride, or during the ride for that matter. And even during the ride, you know, especially sometimes, sometimes I get out and I don't bring any cameras with me and I'm just like, ah, I'm just going out for a ride. And that is true at that time. But then once you get out, there's always something that you see that's worth recording. And you're just like, oh man, why didn't I bring the cameras? 
or at least put one in the um, in the side cases or the top case just on the off chance that you do see something you want to record and you can record um, but what else what are some of the other things that gets your goat before a ride or doing a ride so we've had the keys we've had people asking when you're going to clean your bike missing cameras oh here's one how about when are you going to get a real bike and, and, and yeah you know they even say nice bike but then they add the caveat when are you going to get a real bike meaning their particular brand then i just look at them i'm like well it has a motor it has two wheels has a throttle looks like a real bike to me that's how i kind of de-escalate the situation as well by you know not carrying on the conversation any further you know so that is that um another but anyway leave me a comment on some of your pet peeves on whether you're on the ride or getting ready to ride you know something that ticks you off and you're like ah why can't you just do that right this way i will end this freeway moto vlog and not drive you crazy <laughs> with highway interaction or freeway interaction <laughs> of changing lanes and dodging cars and all that stuff so um any other way i'll get with you guys later okay this is tony reno from two wheel for fun and i am out please